When it comes to mountain biking wheels, there's only so many ways that you can make a bike wheel. Right? Well, apparently, Zip didn't get the memo and have developed their first mountain biking wheel in over 20 years. And it's nothing like anything else out there. As mountain bikers, Zip might not necessarily be a brand you're that familiar with. But amongst our drop handlebar touting friends, a serious business in the world of specialist wheels. Now when the first came on the scene in 1988, the first product was actually an aerodynamic disc wheel. And following on from there came a tri-spoke wheel and then various deep section wheels, all in the name of trying to cut through the air as fast as possible. Next up came the cyclocross wheels and following on from there came the mountain bike wheels. With this, the 30 Moto wheel. And this is a really, really cool piece of... What are you doing? What are you doing here? Well, Zip asked us to shoot a video about motocross. No, they didn't. They asked us to film a video about the Moto rim. The oh. new mountain bike rim. Oh, uh, oh. No. my bad. Oh. Sorry. So let's take a closer look at this wheel set from Zip. So it's called, as we know, the 30 Moto. Now it kind of takes its name Moto from the world of motocross where the rim design is actually a single wall design. Like a motocross wheel, they can be incredibly heavy. But you can actually do this with carbon. Now, the especially cool thing about this is some carbon rims available on the market are a little bit too stiff. And it does mean, hold on Blake, it does mean when you're riding those wheels through really rocky terrain, you're in danger of either pinching or slashing the tire or damaging the rim itself. Now the thing with these is they have something called ankle flex built into them. And it actually enables the rim to deform slightly where it might otherwise crack. Now this is a really cool feature and actually it's why he is here because we're actually gonna, yes Blake, go. you can have a go in a sec. This is why Blake is here because he's gonna go and razz these head to head against a motocross bike. Go on then. <laughs> Don't be long, Blake. Yeah, it won't be, Doddy. Where the hell's it gone? Can't have gone that far around here. Well, the motocross rim has been the same for as long as I can remember. Simple as it can be, with a single wall design making it strong but yet a compliant as well. Now, in the cycling industry, they have used this, but it's considered as a budget option, made out of steel and generally very, very heavy, where weight is no, no matter for the bike because it's, got, it's powered by a motor, but it is when it comes to a human-powered mountain bike. However, the use of carbon fiber, <laughs> that changes everything. YouTube presenter who crashes a bike a lot. Oh, <laughs> that's easy, that's Neil. And ultimately, they believe it can make you go faster as well. Because if you're running a real rigid wheel, and you hit some rough terrain, it sounds really loud, it's like da 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 da. And that's transferring all those shock waves into your body and ultimately bouncing your bike around, no matter what tire pressure you got running in your tires, it will bounce you around down the trail, ping ponging. Whereas this sounds different, it sounds crazy. It's like doo -doo 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 -doo, not da 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 da. I got more trail to go. I'll see you at the bottom. Geeky tech type from GM 
BN. No idea who that is. You've probably got a question. Why a single wall rim? Well, that thing is twisting underneath you, just like a human ankle, just like this. Moving side to side is doing that, and that spoke is just twisting in there. Now, let me explain. When you're walking on some really rough terrain, like I've set these rocks up here, your ankle's gonna twist to try and get your foot to get maximum grip on the terrain underneath you. Also, trying to keep yourself upright just like this. Now, it's really hard to show that out here on the trail. So Zip have sent in some of this test footage from their lab. Take a look at this. That is insane. It's definitely moving, definitely moving. Right, I think I've had too much fun out here. I bet Doddy is twiddling his thumbs. I've seen a bit, Doddy. Hmm. <sighs> Where have you been? It's been oh, ages. Mate, oh, dude, dude, know. actually, you can help me with this. Yeah. Can we do this one? I can't, yep. I can't Tech just can't... Geek on GMBN ah. 5. That's you! Just G -O -D -D -Y. reminded me. If you want to watch the Tech Geek edition of this very video over on GMBN Tech, click that bad boy there for all the details about the rims. Yeah, don't forget to hit the globe to subscribe because you're definitely missing out. And give us a thumbs up like if you love zipping about. <laughs> right, who's going to wash the motorbike? <laughs>